Hello, Tangerines! I had to take a trip back to the US, so I decided to visit my family in Missouri. And while Jordan will be on this trip, I'm going to stay here in Puerto Morelos with Laska. Hi, Dougie! Hi, dear Laska! All right, well, I just dropped Jordan off at the airport. This is now the first time ever that we have been apart since traveling in Mexico. Oh. Laska backs me up here. She says yes. Also the first time I've been left alone in the apartment and uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Your room for me, Laska? Oh, good girl. Oh, he's a happy camper. Yeah, so you know, I thought that this would be kind of a nice week to just like have some time to myself, watch all the rom-coms that I wanted and whatever, but um, my initial impressions are that I have this weird like anxiety ball in my chest of like extra energy that I don't know what to do with. I literally don't know what to do with myself right now. What should I do, Lesga? What should I do? I was super curious to learn what the differences were gonna be like during the pandemic since we fly all the time, but have not flown since the pandemic started. And when you get into the Cancun airport, everyone is required to wear a mask. Then I went up the escalator to security and I found they had this whole new station set up where you would scan this QR code and you had to fill out this health questionnaire basically saying I'm okay and I'm not sick. And then after you filled that out, you walked towards the security line where they would check your passport. And there, there was this crazy thing set up with gigantic body scanners and these two people in all on hazmat suits. Never saw anyone get stopped, but they were clearly checking everyone's body temperature as they were walking by. When it came time to board the plane, Plane, they only called a few rows at a time and let a few rows board. When you got in the jetway, there were a lot of things indicating where you were supposed to stand. Now that I'm on the flight, I can see that it's very full except for that they kept every middle seat empty. Delta has made some major changes to their food and drink service. They had a pre-packaged little bag that they gave out to every single person on the flight with a small water bottle, a couple of snacks, and hand sanitizer. I could not have asked for a nicer flight out of Cancun today for the first 10 or 15 15 minutes of my flight, I was able to look out the window and see the beautiful blue turquoise waters of the Caribbean and the Cancun Hotel Zone, Isla Mujeres, and all along there. Before my flight to Springfield, I went to check out one of the mini Delta Sky Clubs in the Atlanta airport. I think there's something like eight or nine of them here but only a few are open right now and my gate happened to be right next to one of the ones that was open. And they have a decent array of food laid out there all individually wrapped. And I was able to get this awesome drink with mezcal called a Oaxacan apple because I was just missing Oaxaca so I had to go with that one. After pacing around this apartment for literally 45 minutes trying to decide what to do with myself, I've come to the conclusion that I should clean this place from top to bottom and try to get rid of this weird nervous energy that I have in my chest and I really don't understand why because it's not like Jordan's never coming back so uh, this is just like, ah, I don't get it, I don't get it. I slept and mopped just three days ago. Having a husky is a full-time job picking up all the fur. <laughs> For whatever reason, this weird ball of energy in my chest is not going away with the therapeutic powers of cleaning, so you know what goes great with Clino? Vino! I realize our shower is extremely dirty. Please don't judge us too hard. I like to clean the shower when I'm in the shower so that after I get all dirty cleaning it, I can just take a shower right after, so I'll be doing that later. Ah, 
well, I still do have quite a bit of surface cleaning left to do. I feel a little better, but I still have this like awkward, uncomfortable, nervous energy in my chest, which I, I don't even understand. Like this is so irrational. You know what? I have another idea of something that might help me. What I'm using here are our chirp wheels. These are like foam rollers, but better. They're more well-designed. They've got this little groove for your spine and they really target the muscles and help your back stay all stretched out. And sometimes you get some good cracks and pops. It's not a replacement for a chiropractor, but it has helped us reduce the number of chiropractic visits we need so that we're feeling good and aligned. We mentioned this in a video a while back and a bunch of people went out and bought them um, and we've gotten so much good feedback. For instance, on our Twitter, Betty says, I don't usually buy things from YouTubers, but I watched a video from Tangerine Travels about being stuck in Mexico during COVID. They use chirp wheels for back health and I'm glad I did. Thank you both, I feel great and they are they are a routine now. And that's basically how we use them too, as part of our daily routine to stay feeling healthy and good, especially in moments like this where I just have this like anxiety bleh in my chest. <laughs> if you wanna check them out, you can go to tangerinerollers.com and that link forwards right to the Chirp website. And now I am boarding my flight to Springfield. Guess who got upgraded to first class? We're out here playing some golf today, and the game today is a scramble. My sister and myself versus her husband and our dad. Yep, and we're gonna kick butt. The losers, I mean, the winners. <laughs> the winners, oh, the losers, no. Shit. Somebody's buying somebody ice cream, we're not really sure. <laughs> okay, I'll be back, Laska, be a good girl. Be a good girl. Jordan is going off with the fam to do some golfing. I think I'm gonna meet up with some friends. So I am walking up to this beach club called Unico right now. I wonder who's winning the scramble in Missouri. So what's the main problem with your golf swing? Well, I think I finally figured it out. I'm standing too close to the ball after I hit it. <laughs> after the front nine, my sister and I are two under par and our opponents are one over. We ended up winning by a few shots. After getting our victory ice cream, we went to this local town called Dunnigan. It's just like a 20 minute drive from here. And it's actually an Amish town. This is the first one I'd ever been to. And we went to this really interesting grocery store. They make a lot of the products that they sell here in town. It's pretty crazy. I got these things. They're called peanut butter Buckeyes. They taste like miniature Reese's peanut butter cups. They're really good. Then I got some dried ginger dried apples, kiwi slices without any added sugar. I really like these. And I got some of their blue raspberry licorice. It was a really cool place and most of that stuff was pretty cheap. They had a lot of options there, a surprising amount of gluten-free options. While we were in the grocery store, everyone working there was in their traditional Amish clothing. And something I found interesting was they were all speaking German. I actually didn't know if they spoke English. It turns out that from a young age, all of them are taught German and English and I heard that's because they use the Gutenberg Bible and they have their church services in German. Then we went down the street to this furniture maker where they cut the trees and saw the boards and then they make beautiful furniture like there was a dresser with the handles made from antlers, cool things like that. Oh, hey! It's the one and only Maya Trisha Bowser and Diego! Hello! 
<laughs> Social distancing time. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. We ordered some mezcalitos. Yes, I got my margarita mezcal coming. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got some beautiful views of the ocean out here. Wait. It's stunning. The sea. The sea. I always want to call it the ocean. It is the ocean. It's a Caribbean sea, I thought. No, it's a Caribbean ocean. Or, I don't you know. know. Don't el, ask us. El mar. <laughs> el mar es muy bonito. Like, why can't it just be like in Spanish? Where it's just el mar. one word. <laughs> one word for sea and ocean. Mar. That's it. Yes, it's beautiful today, for oh, sure. And like a nice breeze and everything, too. Oh, this is a life. <laughs> Salud. Salud. Ah, oh, no. Got a casualty. <laughs> Cheers, Man guys. down. <laughs> I think there's a storm a brewing. For sure. In my pants. Oh, I'm in <laughs> <laughs> and this video just went R rated. <laughs> Can you see how dark it is behind me? We just heard the biggest thunderclap, and it's gonna be a miracle if we don't get rained on. And this umbrella is nice, but I don't think it's gonna do much for the rain. <laughs> no. Diego's like, I gotta get this. He's going out, <laughs> he's going out there to get pictures. <laughs> it was amazing. Okay, so we have now, she's now closed the umbrella. We have moved ourselves underneath this <laughs> palm tree here as maybe a false sense of protection from the rain. But it is so much more windy, but also feels great. Yeah, it does it's feel good. It's so nice. Windy. It's like air conditioning out here right now. The crazy thing is, is that it looks like it was like really dark, but now it looks like it just kind of opened up and it's just windy. <gasps> And that is not in my pants this time. No. What price do you have? A 20. A 20. And you have cacahuates and... I have cacahuates, salado, salado and enchilado. Ah, one of the enchilado, please. One of the enchilado. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The palm tree did not save us. Oh, no. <laughs> it is raining like crazy now. Yeah, I can have some smart guys. Thank <laughs> you. Go. Go, Unico. <laughs> and not too long after all the rain and the thundering and the storming, it's basically back to normal. And if we could stay longer, we would have the whole thing. <laughs> we would have the whole thing to ourselves. Look at this. So crazy. All by ourselves. <laughs> But in the company of the bestest of friends. <laughs> but yeah, we can see, I can see a little bit like out this way, there's a lot more rain maybe coming, but it's pretty clear and it feels amazing out. The weather is awesome. So much cooler than before. Ah, oh, the water feels so nice. Technically, we're not supposed to be on the beach right now, but I just wanted to feel the water a little bit without the seaweed. It's amazing. Okay, well, this was so fun, you guys. I'm yeah. glad we could meet up like safely and have yes. some drinks and food. Diego. My belly. <laughs> this is gonna be like, where's Waldo? But where's, where's Diego? He's hiding behind everything. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. It was perfect. It was nice to be on the beach. Um, and having a beautiful view, even though we got rained on, but yeah. it's still a beautiful Hardly day. Hardly adventure, yeah. right? Yes, exactly. Well, I'll see you guys later. Thank you Love so much. Hugs. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 See you. I wanted to introduce you guys to someone while we're here. Don't be confused by the shirt he's wearing. His name is Luke, not Jordan. This is my new nephew. How old is he? Two months. Two months old? Yep. Two months in like two days. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say hi? You <laughs> stare at your uncle instead, aren't you? Before coming here, I had never played this game before. You know what it's called? Shoot the moon. Shoot the moon. You take this marble and you have to roll it all the way up here and it's actually going at an incline. So you have to roll it uphill and you want to get as far as you can. If you get in the first one, it's negative 250. Second one's 250 and you can get as many as 5,000 points in a single turn. We take five turns each and whoever gets the most points wins. Now Jordan was trying to teach me the rules, or teach me the strategy, and he said all you have to do is just make sure you don't let the marble drop till you want it to drop. Exactly. So, it's pretty simple. It's simple, right? 47.50. 47.50. Alright Isaac, you're up. Sister, sister's husband. Brother-in-law. Rachel, Isaac. <laughs> oh! oh. 
almost a 5,000. Oh, oh my gosh, you're getting screwed here. Was that your last turn? Yes. Did I just beat you? If you got more than 5,500, you beat me. I believe I did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I never beat him. <laughs> Good morning from Puerto Morelos. For restaurants to reopen right now, they must follow certain guidelines like having a foot sanitation, sanitization station at the entrance, giving guests hand sanitizer when they arrive, requiring masks to enter, taking everyone's temperature, spacing the tables apart, and only filling the restaurant to 30% of their normal capacity. Plus, employees also have to wear masks and face shields. Latte. So I decided to come to Loli Moya for breakfast and actually Yvette, she rented out the whole place for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just really early. I've literally never been up. I don't think we've ever been to any restaurant this early, but Lasko's having an upset tummy this morning. So I was up way earlier than I wanted and I'm like, why not go get breakfast and see what Puerto's like this early? Turns out nobody else is up this early on a Sunday morning either. <laughs> Mmm, this looks so good. I got scrambled eggs with chorizo and potatoes, garlic potatoes on the side with, of course, tortillas de maíz. Woo, nice and hot. Well, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Lola y Moya is the best. And if you're in town, if you're in Puerto Morelos, definitely go there for breakfast or brunch and enjoy some of the amazing coffee and amazing food and all the love that Yvette will give you and her team. I wonder what Lask is eating. So I wonder what Jordan's up to today. I'm at my dad and stepmom's property about 30 minutes outside of Springfield, Missouri, just a few minutes away from a smaller town nearby here. I'm gonna give you a quick tour around to show you the place. So they're on about 20 acres here. Here you can see the pickup and the shop where they keep the tractor and all the tools. To the right of the house, you have the chicken coop fenced in area. And from this angle is the garden and the greenhouse the house here, and then over here we have the pond. This two acre pond is probably my favorite feature of their property. They actually put a lot of money into expanding the pond, and then across on the other side there, there's a rock wall that uh, they had to do quite a bit of work to put in. There's an aerator in the middle of the pond, and they ended up putting that in because one summer, quite a few years back, it got really cold in the middle of the summer and something called thermal inversion happened and it basically depleted all of the oxygen from the pond, killing almost all of the fish in there. So they put an aerator in so that could never happen again. I grew up doing a lot of bass fishing, so I love this pond because there's huge trophy bass in here. My dad has caught quite a few six pounders. He thinks there's a seven or an eight pounder in here. And there's also a huge crappie in here too. They get all kinds of wildlife out here. There's deer around here all the time, coyotes, raccoons, birds, like sometimes they'll have bald eagles land on the trees around here. And there's always hawks and eagles soaring up above. These are their two pet ducks that hang out on the property. These two ducks have been around here for four or five years now. And then we head over to this little bridge. Yesterday there were a whole bunch of tadpoles. Oh, there's a big frog that just jumped into the water here. And then we cross the bridge and you can see the pasture for the first time. They have something like six head of cattle, I think it is out here. And they're actually miniature cows. They're, the breed is Dexter. So they're about half the size of your typical cow. So, oh, there's a bull. I think they're somewhere between 600 to 1,000 pounds. He's looking right at me. Maddie's always able to communicate with animals, but let's see if I can. Moo! Oh, yep, this one. Moo! Okay, the whole herd is coming towards me. Maybe I just talk to them? Moo! So right here is actually a female cardinal. The males are the ones who are bright red. Oh, where did it go? 
St. Louis Cardinals. My dad and stepmom have enjoyed this place for about the last 10 years, but they're actually looking to sell it because they want something that's a little less work to maintain and something that's closer to their golf course where they spend a whole bunch of time. If you're interested in this turnkey hobby farm, we'll put their email down in the description of this video and you can contact them to get more information on it. Hi Higgins. Are you camera shy too, like Laska? This is Higgins' spot on the couch. Is this how you sleep, Higgins? <laughs> Just about to pick up Dad from the airport. Don't come up here though, stay back there. <laughs> we're gonna pick up Jordan, yay, I'm so excited. All right, we're pulling up to terminal four now. And I'll see if I see him anywhere. Maybe we should text him. No, 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 no. I don't see him. Nazca, where's Dad? Oh, I see him! I see him! Yay! There he is! That's gonna stay, 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 stay! She's coming out, she's coming out! You're supposed to stay in the car. Oh my gosh! You got her? I love you <laughs> just hopped out the back. Oh, no, yeah. stay! Oh. <laughs> <Asuka>. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. Aww. Oh. Oh. did you miss Dad? Hi! Oh. Okay, we got home. Man, it is chaos here. Hi! <laughs> Look! <laughs> Oh, and somebody's excited. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get out of here before somebody hey. else yells at me or honks at me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot what you look like because you got a haircut right before you left. <laughs> How's your flight? How are you? Hi. Mm -hmm. I should probably disinfect my face. <laughs> and I should probably not try to kiss you while I'm driving at an airport. <laughs> Hi, let's go. Hi. She missed you. She was always getting up on the bed on your side. <laughs> getting up on the bed illegally while I was sleeping. So illegally. That, like <laughs> while I was sleeping, so I couldn't tell her to get off. <laughs> Well, this video was unlike any we've done before, but honestly, I had a lot of fun putting this together with you. Yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> if you're looking for some more Tangerine Travels videos on the end screen here in just a moment, we're gonna link our playlist of our favorite experiences in Mexico, which also happen to be some of our favorite videos that we've made. <laughs> oh, and nice Alaska. <laughs> and one more thing before you go. <laughs> Gong that bell so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. And we'll see you soon.